So this is a video about taking all these parts of aluminum, welding them all up together, taking the motor out of this jet ski, putting it into the boat, and ending up with something like this is the final result. So this is the hall. The first step is we sand down the hall for future painting, just to rough it up. We put the transom on here. This is the transom, the back of the boat. And we draw a line here that's a quarter of an inch from the, from the end of the boat. And that's where we line the transom up to, uh, to weld the transom to the back of the boat. So we have the transom welded in a quarter of an inch off the back. We put this in to uh, make sure that it's square. And then we measure from the back of the boat to where it's supposed to be 44 inches across. And we put this thing down to hold the uh, hold down to kind of spread it to 44 inches. And then up in the front, we made these little marks on either side corresponding to where we measure from here to the table to make sure that the front of it when we bend it is uh, symmetrical on both sides. And we use turnbuckles on the nose to uh, tension the nose together. It can be done very precisely. The turnbuckles are good because of the amount of precision that you can get with them, whereas a clamp is just crude. You also use crisscrossing turnbuckles on the chains to make the bow bend up more. There's so much pressure on the front that if anything failed, I don't even know what would happen, but it's like a ton of pressure. So our next step after we brought the nose together is to uh, bend it a little further because the point here has to be 15 and a half inches off the table. So we tighten it up with these turnbuckles and then we put in this uh, backbone piece that also that has the contour of what we want for the boat. And now, you gonna do this one? Yeah. yeah. And now we are doing the chime. How do you spell that? <laughs> so another really critical part is this the chine. This is called a chine, this little skinny part that goes around to the front. It's kind of tricky because it has sort of a compound curve that you gotta work into place. You start by welding it back here and you work it forward and you have to kind of twist it to the front. Okay, so this is a tool that we've been using to bend the chine. So like if the chine is on the side of the boat like this, you can get like a lot of leverage on it, you know, to bend it up into place, or, you know, bend down. So that's a wrap for our first video about days one and two. Coming up are days three and four, which are gonna be really kind of tricky, a lot trickier than the past couple days. Also in an upcoming video, I wanna talk about where we got the kits for these boats. Uh, they come from a company called Jetstream up in Vancouver, Canada, and they're super cool. And, um, and then also why we got the idea for doing this. And uh, I wanna talk about the shop a little bit and our welder and our table that we weld on and the big machine behind me so until then uh i hope you enjoyed it thanks